Hello everyone, you're welcome to this next tutorial on how to build a jobs recruitment website with PHP. In this tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating some extra tables we'll be needing in our database, which is one, countries. We'll be creating a countries table because our develop, uh, professionals and the recruiters have to enter their country so that we can know how to display results. If you're coming from US, for instance, once you're searching, we'll take priority over people to show you people from US first of all. If you're coming from India, you'll see people from India first. And then we're going to create states. Um, I'm in Nigeria, and Nigeria is divided according to local governments. Local governments. And then um, there are several local governments inside the states. Some countries might call theirs province. Then there are several states inside the country, which is Nigeria. This is how it is structured. So your country might be structured a little different so you would just uh, use the name of uh, your country in some countries i know instead of states they call it province province so you just use what works for you and um, i'll just use what works for me all right so but you just get the general concept so that we can go ahead so first of all what is common to everybody is that we need countries so we'll work with countries we'll go to google and search for sql list of all countries so a good way to that's a good way to start so there's an mysql country list so um we just go there and somebody has got done a good job of giving us the list of all countries so we will just run this sql code and uh, it will it will install install countries for us as you can see it's to create a table called app countries and inside there there will be country code country name and then a number of things so i'll just click on edit this icon here and uh, i'll select all i don't know why it's not working but i'll just control a on my keyboard control c which is copy then get to my database then inside my database i can my sql i'll paste this so when I paste this, I'll run it. There's a go icon here, as you can see. There is a go. And then, um, as you can see, it has um, created this. So if we go back to our database, we will see that um, a, a table called app countries have been created. First of all, this is not how we name our tables. So we're just going to um, name it more properly. So we'll just click on... Um, First of all, we'll click on the structures. Uh, we'll start with the, the the names. It's already a country table, so we don't need to put country code inside it. So we'll just name it code and name. So that's the standard way we'll, we'll do our. So you click here, change. And then you have um, code, so we'll remove code. And then we we'll save. There's a save icon here. And then there's country name, we'll change it to name. As you can see, this one is now code. So we'll change it to name. Just so that it looks neat and rhymes with whatever we're doing. Name. All right, the, the reason I'm doing it this way is because we're already in the countries table. So we don't need country ID, country code. All these things are already under countries, all right? So the next thing we're going to do is to change the name of this app's countries. We'll change it to countries. Instead of apps country, we don't need, I don't know why they put apps, so we'll just change it to countries. Remember, in raw, raw PHP, all our names must be in capital, in um, plural. So we'll just click go. So if we go back to our raw jobs table, we'll see that our, our list of countries now exists. All right. So which means every user belongs to a country, right? What we'll do is we'll go, go to the users table. And add a country ID so here we can just choose a place to add a country ID I can just put it under row ID so we we'll say row ID because you said add one columns after row ID so I click go and then I'll call it country ID oops country ID remember it's singular right here because it's referencing the foreign key it's referencing another table I'll just put 11 here that's the number of digits it can contain and there's no default 
and the default is uh, null, which means every user belongs to a country. And um, now we've sorted it out, we can just say save. And if we go back to our users table, we will notice that when a user is signing up, once they choose a role, there's a role ID, there's a name, then they have to select a country from the list of drop down of countries. Each country has an ID, so it's the ID of the country that will enter here, which means if we go back to our countries table and click on browse, you will observe that there are many countries here and each one has an ID. So if the user enters an ID, it will just re reflect their country. For me, I'm from Nigeria and the ID of my country will be like somewhere down the line. I think it's around 54 or so. So that's it. And in the next video, we will see how we can add states using the same method. Thank you.